potentially take years to overturn the Citizens United ruling dealing with campaign finance reform. Would you today agree not to take super PAC money? Patty, or Patty. Kathy, I have agreed not to take super PAC money. I'm not taking any PAC money in this campaign. Really, for Democrats, PAC money is a toxic, toxic poison. Well, how do you avoid tying your own hands then? What we're doing is we're doing a Bernie Sanders style campaign where we're raising money. My average contribution is $7 per contributor. We've raised it from over 3,000 people. And if we're picked to be the nominee, we intend to go forward with a Bernie Sanders style funding of the Senate race. We're not going to raise the kind of money Chuck Grassley is, but we believe if we raise only 20%, we can run a competitive campaign. There are two things that we can do in the short term in the U.S. Senate. The first thing I would do is sponsor a rule or a law that says no senator can take money from anyone who has legislation pending in front of him or a committee, and that would extend to their company in their industry. The second thing is, and this applies to this TV station, every FCC license holder applies for renewal every five years. As part of that renewal, I would require them to give free airtime to everybody that qualifies for the ballot. Mr. Hogue, uh, would you forego super PAC money? Uh, well, first of all, I, I've never taken any super PAC money, and I've never uh, even had somebody suggest to me that they were going to uh, support if my you're, campaign. If you're the nominee, though, um, you may have people come knocking that want to give you money. Well, I, yeah, think under you the, no? I think under the current rules, super PACs can do whatever they want. Uh, even Bernie Sanders had super PACs. He may have asked them not to, but there were super PACs against him and there were super PACs for him. Uh, look, here's, here's what we can do in the short run is we need transparency. We, we, can, we can make the dark money not dark, just pass uh, federal legislation and do that, and that helps. I also believe in at least partial public financing of our campaigns because I believe that's a small price to pay to deal with this really broken campaign finance system. And Mr. Krauss, would you tell any super PACs, no thanks, don't spend any money for me? Well, look at Senator Charles Grassley today. In the uh, Supreme Court fight, he arranged for Matt Whitaker, the former district attorney for Southern Iowa, to have a blind pack to fund ads that supported his position. Of course, he doesn't know anything about Matt Whitaker, even though he arranged to have him as district attorney. So when you go into the battle in the general election, what you're doing is you are fighting with blindfolds on against somebody that's out there that can poke you here and poke you there. Now my main solution is the revolutionary social media, which we will have, and we have now. And the other thing is I think that we need to, in the future, prevent contributions to legislators when they're in session. The Iowa legislature has that today. It works pretty good. The problem we have, and I, I know that it can be documented with various uh, senators and congressmen, is that they will, they will make the bill move, and then the next minute they'll take the contribution. That's and time. Mrs. Judge, do you would you disavow super PAC money in the general election? Well, the problem uh, with super PACs or dark money or whatever label that you want to put on it is that you don't know where it came from. You don't know why it came, you don't know where it came from, and uh, I don't know that you, that you have much option whether you avow or disavow uh, if, uh, if an ad suddenly appears for you or against you, and probably in, in the case of all of us up here, it will be against, would be against us. Uh, what we need is transparency. We need to change the Citizens United ruling uh, and we need to do that very quickly. This, uh, I'm just going to use the word, obscene flow of money into our election cycles has to stop. And, it, and uh, it's not going to stop until we change the makeup of the United States Senate. It's that simple. We've got to get Chuck Grassley out of there. We've got to get the Senate in the hands of Democrats. Okay, we're going to go ahead.